I, I know that you um, think a lot of Bruce Cassidy and we mm-hmm. talked about his pretty sudden departure from the Boston Bruins didn't last long as he's been uh, formally announced as the new head coach of the Vegas Golden Knights, a team, you know, very well. I, I like the fit. My sense is you like the fit a- as well. I do. I tweeted it yesterday. I think he, Bruce Cassidy's a great fit for Vegas for several reasons. I mean, it's not just his pedigree as a winning coach. It's more so that, you know, this is a team that's mature. It's an older team. They have plenty of star power, plenty of highly played paid players that have frankly been there and done that. When you think of Martinez, who's won Stanley cups and Petrangelo has been a captain for a cup winning team, Mark Stone, hopefully his back's healthy, all those things. I think that Cassidy, if there's any knock on him, and it's been well documented, and he pushed back hard on it, is that, you know, he is tough on young players. Well, no, I think Cassidy's just tough on players that don't perform the way that they really should, man. Like, if, if you don't want a coach to be hard on, you play the right way. Like, and that's such a generalized term, but like, do what the coach, the coach asks, and you're not going to be in the doghouse, man. Like, work hard. And that's what he's demanded. So, in some ways, I think that Cassidy, by the end of that tenure in Boston, it just, you could sense it kind of was a diver- diverging path. He didn't have the horses to make it work anymore, man. They could still play defensively because Cassidy's a systems first guy that demands a lot. You have to play hard. But boy, when he had people that could score, there's a reason why they went to the Stanley Cup final. Okay. Like you give him two and a half, three lines of depth, and his teams are good. And I saw it firsthand in Providence for a long time. The teams are good every single year. So, I really, I do think it's a, it's a great fit. I think he's got a similar mentality. He's hungry. He wanted to coach yesterday when he got fired, man. And, you know, I wrote a piece, I guess, four or five days ago now, four days ago that said, I think Cassidy holds the cards in the coaching market now, not trots. And boy, I, I kind of had to take a victory lap yesterday in in that my, (laughs) I love it when a prediction comes true because I thought that because Cassidy's so hungry to coach, immediately and prove everybody wrong and prove Boston that he shouldn't have been the fall guy there, which I think I do think is ridiculous that he was the fall guy. Um, I knew he was going to take a job quick. Yeah. And as soon as I found out Vegas was in the mix, I'm like, man, I, I think this is a really, this is a strong fit. I didn't think trots like somebody asked me yesterday, why not trots? Well, who says trots wanted the gig in Vegas in the first place, just because there was a call or a zoom call or anything. That's yeah doesn't mean somebody wants it or it's the right fit. I heard that was doubtful from the get-go. So I think Vegas gets a coach who fits their mindset, yeah. um, who can also you know, bring in some more structure. Vegas wasn't as good defensively as they needed to be this year under DeBoer. Um, and, and I think it's going to set everything in motion. 